Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sandeep Madan and uh, let us discuss this anatomy question which is recall based from the recent exam. The question was structures injured in the submandibular gland excision. So these were the choices given. Let us look at the anatomy. Now when you look at the submandibular gland, basically the submandibular gland is having two parts which we can see with respect to this muscle. This muscle is the mylohyoid muscle which makes the floor of the mouth. With respect to that muscle, some part is superficial and some is deep to it. So we can see the superficial part and the deep part with respect to mylohyoid muscle. And in the deep part here, we also have the sublingual gland, right? Now if we see from another view, we can see that this is the muscle, mylohyoid muscle. With respect to that, we have the superficial part of the submandibular gland and we have the deep part of the submandibular gland, okay? Now if you look at the submandibular duct, with respect to submandibular duct, let me show you this diagram here. What we can see, this is nothing but the deep part of submandibular gland. With that we can see the submandibular duct. And here in this diagram we can see that this is the nerve, lingual nerve which is looping around the duct. You can see the, the nerve is looping around the duct. Okay. So lingual nerve is having very close relationship with the uh, submandibular duct, all right? Here we can see there is one more nerve which is very nearby, hypoglossal nerve. Hypoglossal nerve is also giving one communicating branch. You can see it's a communicating branch here to the lingual nerve, but itself hypoglossal nerve is not looping around the duct. So this anatomy is very, very important uh, that the lingual nerve is looping around the duct, okay? So if we look at the region, we can see this is the gland and we, we can see this is the gland here and this is the duct part and the nerve looping around it is the lingual nerve. And here we can see this muscle which is uh, this muscle which is actually going from the hyoid, this is hyoid and this is tongue. So between the hyoid and the tongue, so hyo and the gliosis. So this muscle is hyoglossus muscle and deep to the hyoglossus muscle we can see this nerve is the glossopharyngeal nerve. This nerve is the glossopharyngeal nerve. So basically uh, we can say these two nerves are very close to the submandibular gland that is uh, hypoglossal nerve, lingual nerve. These are at risk of getting injured when you are dealing with the uh, submandibular ganglion or the submandibular gland excision particularly lingual nerve is at highest risk and the glossopharyngeal nerve is uh, you can say it because it lies deep to the hyoglossus muscle so it is not that close to the uh, gland so it's not that exactly at risk for the getting injured so among these options answer will be lingual nerve because you see inferior alveolar nerve it lies within the bone it travels within the mandibular bone so as to supply the lower jaw teeth that is inferior alveolar processes right so among these options Obviously, lingual nerve will be the answer. Facial nerve is a superficial nerve here and it enters the parotid gland and comes out as the five branches. So it, it, it really doesn't reach here in the region of the submandibular gland. It's one of the branch coda tympani, although it reaches via the lingual nerve and it, you see, uh, gives the preganglionic branches for the submandibular and the sublingual gland. But facial nerve is as such itself is not in relation to this particular part of the anatomy. So this was the answer to this question and uh, thank you very much everyone. Stay tuned for the discussion of other questions. Thank you.